I'd like to invite and request, actually, if you would be willing, Mr. Yakesh, to offer just a few words of conclusion, actually, to kind of wrap up the, the three days uh, conference that we've had. We've had a lot of material, a lot of different perspectives. I think we've benefited in many ways. And I think there's nobody more perfect than you if you still have the energy yeah, after these three days. Just offer us a few words of conclusion, uh, and then I'll have a few thank yous, and then we can uh, officially conclude the conference. So please, Mr. Yasser Yakesh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Actually, uh, the meeting uh, turned out to be much more successful than I expected because I did not count on our capability to sustain such an important meeting. And uh, I thought that I, we were not prepared to that extent. But after having seen uh, the attendance and the question and the participation of the audience, I, well, I was uh, impressed very much, and uh, the quality of the presentations and the quality of the questions and the atmosphere that prevailed during the uh, discussions were to my entire satisfaction. Uh, when you are perfectionist, of course, you could expect more, but uh, I hate to be a perfectionist. It, uh, the more I, I, I grow older, the less perfectionist I become because perfectionism is sometimes kills uh, performance. Uh, the meeting opened my eyes, despite the fact that uh, I am in this uh, type of exercise since uh, in my 40s of diplomacy, and part of my, uh, my diplomatic career, of course, included also cultural diplomacy, and uh, later on, uh, in my capacity as, uh, as a politician, I was uh, chairman of the EU committee in the Turkish parliament uh, for more than eight years. And their cultural diplomacy was an important dimension of our work, of Turkey's work towards the European Union in this uh, accession process. And uh, despite the fact that I'm that much involved, uh, every uh, speaker uh, in this uh, uh, conference uh, taught me new ideas and opened my mind. And uh, I saw that, uh, like I mentioned on one occasion, that the more you stay in a country, the more you understand how ignorant or how little you know the country. So the more I listened to the distinguished speaker, speakers, the more I understood how ignorant I, I, I am still in this field. So I'm sure that uh, uh, the more we continue, we will see more discrepancies in our mind and uh, that uh, we will discover that there are so many other things to, to learn. Uh, the choice of the subject, I, I would like to congratulate uh, Mark and his staff for, for this. This choice of the subject were excellent balanced and covered a lot of areas that are very important. Each one pertained directly to the heart of the, to the core of the cultural diplomacy. And the cultural diplomacy is actually developing slowly. And the uh, Institute for Cultural Diplomacy plays a leading role in this area. I was nicely surprised, as I mentioned to you, when I googled uh, uh, in my computer to update myself up before the meeting, I found out that the ICD is prominently there in the Wikipedia of cultural diplomacy. And I was all the more surprised when I saw uh, that uh, uh, Wikipedia or Google used uh, my definition uh, of what cultural diplomacy is uh, uh, as, as a point of reference, uh, which was taken out of uh, an article that I wrote and I sent to you, uh, Mark. It was there. And uh, this also showed that you also have penetration and, uh, of course, uh, uh, the uh, Google, uh, uh, you have an important place in the Google Minds and the, and the uh, international, uh, uh, perhaps, market of this uh, area uh, appreciates 
what I ICD is doing. And uh, the more we work in, in this field, perhaps I see, as, an, as ICD, I, my, my, I, I'm considering myself a part of it, ICD will, found out, will find out that there are more to do uh, in this area. Uh, when we come to the peace building and conflict resolution, now we learned how, how uh, we are going to build peace and how to resolve the uh, resolution. Otherwise, we shouldn't give the certificates if they do not know how to do it. And uh, using cultural diplomacy as a tool to build sustainable uh, peace. Uh, Mark, I, I believe that uh, in the present juncture, especially uh, because of the Arab Spring, the cultural diplomacy will become more important for two reasons. First of all, for us to understand what exactly is taking place in the Arab world, we should use all the techniques that we have learned here, that we the techniques of the cultural diplomacy, to be able to make empathy with them. And uh, uh, empathy, uh, to put ourselves in their shoes, why they are doing this, this is one thing. Secondly, perhaps, there will be conflicting parts in the Arab League that will be the, the societies in some of the Arab League countries were divided into two. When the dust settle, they will need to be reconciled. So the reconciliation and reconstruction of their society will be all the more important. So th what we are l learning here will be very important for us to follow what's, what's happening, what is taking place in the Arab uh, Spring countries, and also to be able to help them uh, in order to overcome. As Mr. Azadam said, perhaps we will be writing again articles, etc., which will be valid in the year 2150, 50, 150 years later, perhaps. But uh, let's do uh, things uh, slightly different man in a different manner. And from here, I would like to say, uh, to conclude by saying that in my capacity as the uh, chairman of the youth program in ICD, uh, how we can mobilize youth dimension of the ICD by involving uh, youth from the Arab, uh, uh, Arab Spring countries. I am almost obsessed with this idea. I, I repeat it so many times, but, but I think it is worth, and it is very close geographically to our region. And uh, rather than uh, trying to reach out distant places. It is in our immediate neighborhood. We can easily invite people from these countries. They will be very eager to come, and uh, we may share uh, what we have uh, learned here with them and let them participate and let them teach us what they are doing. Because in almost all Arab countries, the youth element was the driving force. They were disillusioned, perhaps, after what happened in Tahrir youth that I met uh, during my several visits uh, to Cairo. One was with Meral, uh, and uh, she also uh, listened to, uh, to the youth there. And they were disill disillusioned. Why are they disillusioned? How we, we may perhaps share our idea and learn from them why they are disillusioned. All these things will, uh, uh, will allow us to use everything that we are learned in the field. So I would like to thank you, Mark, uh, first of all, for having accepted my invitation to hold this meeting in Turkey. And uh, through you, I would like to congratulate your very uh, skillful and capable staff. And I would like to con congratulate the participants for their endurance from 9.30 in the morning up to, uh, up to these late hours of the evening. 
and uh, uh, of course the, the, you couldn't visit uh, Ankara sufficiently, but I hope that you will be able to stop over in Istanbul and perhaps uh, use this chance for having of having come to Turkey such a long distance and visit Istanbul. Uh, and uh, I hope that we will have other opportunities to meet in the future. Thank you very much, and uh, have a nice uh, trip back home. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Yakesh, uh, for giving the, the content conclusion of the conference. I'd like to just make a few practical remarks, and I guess the first is really to echo what you were saying. I think the success of uh, peace building and the success of cultural diplomacy in the future actually doesn't depend on you or I, Mr. Yakesh, but it depends on everyone in this room. And I think the only problem that I see in the conference this week is that to a certain degree, I think we're preaching to the converted. I think here it's really been an amazing audience. I think you all share the sensitivity and also the respect that we strive for when it comes to intercultural dialogue, which is great a great thing. On the other hand, it's a problem in the sense that really the individuals who actually need this the most are actually the individuals who aren't in this room. Uh, those individuals maybe who don't share those interests, who maybe don't share that that uh, you know conviction that actually culture does matter. So I think the responsibility now and really the next steps after this conference is to ask ourselves, what is our responsibility now when we go back home? And I think the one thing or a number of things that we share in common, I really think in this room we're all drivers to a certain degree as opposed to passengers. We don't just want to sit there and go along for the ride, but we want to drive. And I think we really want to initiate. I think another thing that we share, we all want to give the society as opposed to take from society. It's not just me and my career and my success or my family or my tribe or my country, uh, but it's also you and it's also our neighbors. And I think there, that's a very special uh, commonality that we share. So I think really the future is up to us. I think the next steps are up, up to us. So I, again, as I said earlier, this is the beginning. We see this as the beginning, not the end. I hope that we can stay in contact. In terms of next steps, uh, expect an email from us very soon where you will get the certificates. Uh, also information about how we can stay connected online. I think uh, some people in the room wanted to to start a separate Facebook group just for this conference. Now, there's also the ICD Facebook group. There are a number of other, other virtual technologies we can use. So hopefully we can stay together. As I said, uh, I'd be very grateful also to hear from you if you have initiatives that you'd like ICD to help you with or get involved in, that I think together we can actually be stronger. Uh, so I'm looking forward to your leadership initiatives. And uh, of course, you're welcome uh, to any of our events. We're starting to get more and more international. As you may have seen, we have an upcoming conference in Paris, also in Washington, uh, later in the year in Singapore, also in Los Angeles. Uh, so we're trying to get as international as we can. Uh, many countries, we have not yet hosted conferences. One of the main reasons why is we're lacking the local partner. Uh, luckily here, we had Mr. Yakish, we had the RA movement, we had some wonderful partners. So in that case, please feel free to come to me also as a potential partner. Uh, in the sense, uh, Meral, as uh, was pointed out before, is helping us with Paris. Uh, and I think many people in this room have already uh, given some very uh, wonderful offers to help collaborate. And I think then it's, it's just easier. So in terms of next steps, that's what you can expect from us. What I'd like to do now, maybe uh, Yusuf or, or someone could just make sure there's no one else outside Darnell. I'd love to bring him also in the room too, just to make sure all the ICD staff is here. I want to say a few thank yous, and I think it'd be great if we're, we're all here together uh, for that. First thank you that I'd like to do is to the partners. Uh, in the sense, as I mentioned earlier this week, I am not Turkish, I'm not based in Turkey, so it was very difficult for me, of course, to organize a conference in Turkey uh, dealing with these issues. And I could not have done it without wonderful partners. Uh, unfortunately, our colleagues from the Ari movement had to leave earlier to get back to Istanbul. Uh, but really, the Ari movement, itself uh, played a big role. It was very, very helpful really as a sounding board for the content, for the themes, for the questions, for the speakers, for the locations. Uh, so for many reasons, I really want to extend my gratitude to the RE movement. For those of you who are here in Turkey, I'd encourage you to get involved in the RE movement. They really have wonderful projects and work. Uh, I can really recommend that. Uh, secondly, I don't think they're in the room also anymore, but the TOBB uh, for having hosted us here at their university. I think it's really a wonderful university, an ideal context for this. As Mr. Yakish pointed out, one of the benefits, it's a little bit removed from the center of the city. Uh, so you were trapped here, in the sense that uh, I think that helped also to keep the group together a little bit. Uh, so for many reasons, we're great, very grateful to the TOBB University. Also, you had a chance to meet Mehmet earlier this week from the Ministry of Finance, who's actually a former participant. Again, a great example of how an alum alumni can really have a, a steering role in the future. Uh, it was thanks to Mehmet that we were able to be in the Ministry of Finance, who sponsored us for the first day. Um, and yeah, and it really in terms of those three organizations in particular, I just want to extend my gratitude. Uh, second uh, group uh, that I would like to thank, or the second category, uh, is really uh, in terms of the leadership category, in terms of the vision. Uh, I think really to do something like this, it really takes someone 
someone who is committed uh, to the youth, someone who is committed to cultural diplomacy, uh, someone who's, I think, one of the most hardest working uh, people that I know in Turkey, uh, even though technically he's retired. And I think really it would not have been possible, Mr. Yakish, were it not for your steadfast devotion. Uh, Mr. Yakish has come repeatedly to Berlin, I think sometimes three, four, five times a year. You've met with the youth, you've hosted seminars, you've hosted lectures. Uh, you're always there for me. Whenever I send you an email, I'd like a telephone meeting or you know consultation or advice, usually one or two days later, whether you're in, in the, uh, 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 Jordan uh, or Turkey or all around the world, you always make the time to speak. And really, we're, we're really grateful for you. And I think uh, many of us are here because of you. I think you have a very big fan club uh, and you continue to have really an amazing impact on me, on the Institute. Uh, and of course, I think on the participants and speakers of this conference. And so I'd like to maybe do a special round of applause for Mr. Yakesh for having dedicated so much to, to the Institute. Thank you very much. No, really, we continue to be very, very grateful. So thank you very, very much. I'm looking forward to continuing to develop this, and uh, I think there's a, a very bright future. Uh, the second, or the third group uh, that I would like to have an applause for is actually all of you. Uh, as Mr. Yakish said, we could not have done this without a great group of participants. You never know exactly what you're going to get. Uh, all of you applied from all over the world. And for many of you, this was the first time that you had had experience with the ICD. It was the first time you had had experience in a conference like this, and you really made it. And I heard from almost all of the speakers, oh, where did you get the participants, or how did you find them? And they Really, they, they enjoyed also the momentum that you brought to this. Through your questions, I know there was never enough time for questions, but the, the, the moments that we did have, I think, really did help to, to give the momentum, uh, to give the energy, to inspire, to challenge, uh, to really force us to think these issues from different perspectives. So it may be awkward for you to applaud for yourselves, but I'd love it if we could just have one round of applause just to privilege the, the wonderful participants who made this conference. I think such a great success. So thank you also to the participants. Also, so. thank you. And, uh, and last but not least, I really want to say a special thank you to the ICD team. Uh, you pointed this out before, Mr. Yakish, but really it does take a village to raise a family. Uh, some of us have really been working very, very hard, and I'd love it if maybe we could just have the whole ICD team for a moment, maybe come up on the stage just so they can see. Some of us have been hiding in the background, uh, some of us have been more in the foreground. Uh, I'd love just to see uh, the family, so to speak, that really helped to make this uh, a wonderful success. You can imagine, uh, or, okay, first, first one applause, <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, and we'll do a second round of applause because I, I, I just wanted to point out, really, uh, you guys may not know this, but really it does take a lot of work to put something like this together. Most of the work is actually behind the scenes, uh, behind a computer screen or behind a telephone receiver uh, or behind doing Google research. Actually, the fact that all of you are here is really thanks to this team as well as uh, about double the size of this group actually in Berlin uh, who spent a lot of time researching, sending emails, making phone calls, uh, trying to actually reach out all around the world. Uh, ICD does not have an advertising budget. We're a nonprofit organization, so really it's through grassroots hard work and hard labor. Uh, that we were able to find all of you. Uh, so in that sense, a lot of work went into this behind the scenes, whether it's late nights, weekends, you name it. So in that sense, it's really dedication. Uh, ICD is roughly half employees, half volunteers. So meaning a lot of this is really people who are here just giving uh, because they believe in this. They really want it to work forward. So in particular, also for those extra hours, for the volunteers, for the interns, uh, I really want to extend uh, my sincere gratitude to the entire ICD team who's here present before you, as well as all those who are not here, uh, to really uh, you know thank you for giving giving me also the drive. When I get in there early in the morning and, and, and you're there, I think that really also helps to, to keep me going as well. So if we could please have a big round of applause for the ICD volunteers and staff. Thank you. Okay. Okay. No, thank, thank you very much and congratulations. This was your conference and really in many ways was, it was a great success. So thank you. This brings the conference to a conclusion. Uh, I know it's been a long and an intensive three days. So I hope you can relax now. Maybe some of you have time to explore a little bit of Ankara. I know some will be going to Istanbul. So enjoy that. Uh, make the most of the time. And uh, I very much hope to see you again at an ICD conference. Uh, if I don't see you again in person, I'd love to hear from you at least or virtually. As I said, send me your ideas, send me your projects. And uh, hopefully we can work together in the future. So thank you very, very much to everyone. And uh, I'm really grateful that the conference uh, was as much of a success as it was. So thank you very much. Thank you.